Stephen Kailwar to sports. So obviously you can see, you know, I was uh, lucky enough to beat the coach. I feel like I was lucky enough. No, he was very strategized. And um, he didn't see a move, but he had a move on top of a move. But he just taught me something, you know, how to deal with Saturday night. So, well, like, I don't know. I mean, I, I was going to say, maybe you can't give away too strategy, but so I'm, let, let, that was a blessing right there. I was going to say, let me, let me just guess. Is it kind of one of those things where the adaptation may be part of the game, maybe like the, the, the setting traps and the, and you know, then. Both was mine, it was, it was, it was good strategy on both our hands and whatnot, you know, and then it, because you didn't see the other move. I did. I seen I did. both moves and I couldn't stop it. Right, you know what I'm right. saying? But I learned how you got both of the moves off. So I'm on it now. It was, it was adaptation on my side. I was just I was just trying to kind of defense to offense kind of a thing. But it was a good strategy. But I seen something. You, how would I say this? Something happened without you even knowing it happened. But I know how it happened now. I, we got to talk after, and you got to tell me what I it was. Talk to you Saturday night about it. I was going to say Saturday night after. You that for Saturday night. And then when I explain it to you, you go, God, damn. Uh, and if it, man, if that manifests in the fight somehow. You already did. That just helped me. It just taught me something just now. It's kind of crazy. It's, it's interesting how your mind works in, in kind of seeing the fight in different aspects. Obviously, we're just playing a game here, but no, you know what I mean? Life is like that. Right. Way how I see life because life is precious. And every day when you wake up, it's not a game, but it's a fight. So you're fighting every day. No, it's, it's 100% true. I feel like I, I love talking to you about kind of like where you and Tank are from and kind of where how he's come up and you know I, I asked Tank yesterday you know he I heard him say you know people always ask him about being a legend and he's like you know where where I come from I am a legend yeah, and, and, and people don't understand it fighting the odds that he went through because like we always said Tank been around death and I explained to him I said the death was good he said I said Tank you might not understand because I'm on a different level I said, they say, when I look at certain scriptures, it was darkness first. Then the light came that made the darkness good. I said, because of things that happened that was dark, it made you good because you had to realize you don't want that to happen to you. Well, something I wanted to ask you yesterday, kind of talking about that, you had, you had said something about, you know, what a tank win and, and just where a tank is at, where, what it means to like the city. And, and it, it, it hopes, it, it, it shows, it gives us, that, that voice, uh, it's just not about boxing. It's about situations and things that you go through life that we as a people, that we can help one another from the stories that we go through. I was going to say, you, I feel like being that you still are in the city, you still are there, you still are helping I these kids. I, I feel like, the, ha, do you see it? Do you see it kind of like when Tank fights or when he gets low or just kind of kids coming up to you talking about that maybe in similar circumstances Man, that Tank that you're like? Tank to the Nationals, they couldn't fight because so many people love him. Well, so many kids love him, you know what I'm saying? Because he's his, they, Tank is their inspiration for them or giving boxing hope for the future. It, it must be incredible to be in your position, not only to have Tank, you know, face all over, you know, all over the casino, but to, to see the impact firsthand on kids that were just like him. Yeah, but that's the, that's the whole greatness about it. And it's just not him, it's coaches, you know. I remember when Canelo lost against Floyd. And they were, oh, I'll leave your coach. He stayed with his team, and guess where he at? So when I go to tournaments with my kids and go spend time with them, man, the coaches give me hope because it gives them hope. But they don't understand if you truly believe what you're doing, that's what we're supposed to do. You know, and it's just up to the individual to not let other things get in their head and leave their team. Die, survive with your team. You know, uh, looking at this fight, you know, Southpaw and Southpaw, I, I, I can't really remember the last time Tanks uh, uh, faced the Southpaw. Well, he faced plenty of Southpaws. He, um, somebody, um, it was, he had like two Southpaws in his career and they beat, that was undefeated, you awesome. know. Yep, yep. And that was, that was major. That was major. Yeah, that was major. He made that look easy. I was going to say, you know, Southpaws tend to have, uh, you know, issues with other Southpaws, but Tank um, hasn't really ha Tank is different. Tank is different. Um, I know what's under my hood. <laughs> he been with me since he was a baby, and I know what buttons to push. I'm asking Martin now to push them buttons because as a coach, 
been with your fighter for so long and you saying the same, I, I need the best to take for what's to come. And I think Martin is here because he's not the big four. You four, so Teofimo, Romo, uh, Garcia, and um, just one more, Haney. Ron, uh, Shakur stuck in after uh, uh, Romy, um, um, uh, not Roly, uh, Roman Chico lost. Yeah, remember when he lost? That's from Ch Ch Shakur. Da -da -da. <laughs> so that puts him in the mix. You go back and look at look at the, 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 the tapes, you know, and then he kept doing what he was doing to be where he's at. You know what I'm saying? So when you sit there and look at it, they was the guys that everybody was pushing that tank. And you go back and look at it. See, that's what people not looking. You look at it, you sit there and say, they was the guys that Tank was supposed to be. Oh, he got to fight somebody. And everybody keeps saying, oh, he ain't fight nobody. When I go look at it, everybody record, it's the same blueprints. You know what I'm saying? Like Spence said yesterday, oh, he ain't fight nobody. So you saying your fighter ain't nobody? Because we fighting your fighter. <laughs> so, again, I don't pay attention to it. It's work. I know... Um, Martin is going to put on his performance. He's got a great team, and we're looking forward to it. We're looking of, forward to it. Of those four, right, of the Teofimo, obviously you beat Ryan already, but, right. you know, that's Loma, Shakur, right? Like, the, I, I always tell them, these fights are going to happen, but the heads the be have to say when it's going to happen because they don't understand the promoters and managers that controls everything, and they have to make sense for everybody because money is being spent before the fight. As a trainer of those guys' styles, which one is intriguing to you to like kind of dissect and, and have your guy like? Which one are you kind of like? You know what? That style is None the one I want to test my guy. No, I think Martin is the closest of what I'm looking for because uh, I hate using the word African American, but because of they to say his um, his athletic ability, his punching power. But I know he's going to do his best. He's going to come out and give me what I'm looking for because who he is. So you've heard the, that criticism that like, Tank doesn't fight like fast, slick fighters. Is that kind of what, is that what you're alluding slick? to? Slick? It's Martin Slick. I'm asking you quick. You think he's slick? That's slick. That's not slick to me. That's not slick to me. You know, I, I, I don't want to go in my archives of real slick fighters. But if I mention them, you'll be like, oh, yeah, damn. Oh, yeah. Not nowhere near no, there's no Pernell. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, again, he's very, he's very doable for what I need to be done to really see the best of Tank. Which we still haven't seen yet. You haven't seen it yet. Let's keep it real, you know. You know, if we go back and, like, I, I go back one day, I was on my podcast, the Rise podcast, and I start comparing records. And I said, that's it. Their record's no difference. It's building to get to them, them guys. That's them guys. And that's what it's all about, getting to the guys who's them guys. I mean, this is one of them for sure, right? Them He's, guys. Right. <laughs> but my question is, is he one of them guys? But he got through the cracks. So he's one of them guys right, right. now. <laughs> Here he is. Uh, they're telling me to wrap it up, but uh, man, good to see you having glasses back. So what happened? I don't have my glasses back. A friend of mine. Oh, was... these. You know, I have several pair of glasses, so I had to get these to me because I can't see close up. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And put the chain on it. I'm normal. I'm not the the, the the glasses that I had. I created them from scratch from day one. And when Brona lost, his loss didn't hurt me because I was proud of him. Because when he came to me, he came to me as himself, not as a former world champion. He's AB. He gave his stuff to me. And the performance that he put on from being injured, I couldn't ask for that. You know what I'm saying? And when I couldn't find my glasses, I felt it. <laughs> that was the one that hurt. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt. Now the whole time, I'm just saying, man, my glasses. So I felt like the, it felt like the fight. Right. You know, but now I'm all right. I'm ready for surgery. I'm ready for the scale first. So, you know, I'm, I'm ready to hear what uh, what strategy you got. Uh, what that that could the little ink I be to see you here. Yeah. I can't wait to hear. Ah, oh, man, it's Joker genius. Yeah. <laughs>